Breaking news tonight, a 5.7 earthquake shakes Southern California. People feeling it throughout the Los Angeles area and aftershocks are still happening. Good evening, I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. Tonight's 5.7 earthquake struck along the U.S.-Mexico border at 9.27 p.m. It was centered near Ocotillo, about 20 miles west of Calexico. It was felt as a rolling motion throughout Los Angeles and Orange Counties. Our Shubh Ravindran is live in Anaheim with reaction from people who felt the earthquake. But we begin with eyewitness news reporter Leslie Miller live at Caltech in Pasadena to tell us what the experts are saying. Leslie? Well, Michelle, inside Caltech, uh, officials are analyzing the data, but one thing we do know is that this 5.7, rather, 5.7 magnitude earthquake definitely rattled nerves all the way from San Diego County north to Orange County and here in Los Angeles. Now, uh, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, nearly two dozen earthquakes have hit tonight, including the 5.7 tembler that struck tonight near the U.S.-Mexico border in southern San Diego County. Others ranged from 3.2 to 4.1 magnitude and were also concentrated concentrated in the same general area. So far, there have been no reports of damage, but viewers calling into our newsroom say they felt the rolling of the quake, and others say it lasted for 20 seconds or longer. The shaking tonight even stopped the Toronto Blue Jays San Diego Padres baseball game at Petco Stadium in San Diego. Again, tonight's 5.7 quake was centered five miles southeast of Ocotillo near the U.S.-Mexico border. It struck at 926, and just a short time ago, we spoke to Kate Hutton here at Caltech, who says tonight's shaking was an aftershock from the Easter Sunday 7.2 quake that shook Baja, California. Probably people will be feeling earthquakes through the night occasionally tonight. Um, normally the largest aftershock of a quake, whether it's an aftershock or not, is about one point less than the main shock. So we might have a 4.7 sometime. We don't know. It's all statistics. So even though you're calling it an aftershock, we should still be prepared for what could be the big one. Well, in California, we always have to be prepared for the big one because we don't know when it's going to happen. Now, tonight's quake is being called a shallow quake, as most of them are in California. Kate Hutton says that most aftershocks occur on the same fault, but they can also occur on adjacent faults. And right now, uh, she and other officials there in Caltech are trying to uh, study the data to see where this fault exactly is, which fault it is. Uh, they say that even though the quake is big enough to feel, a 5.7 usually won't cause any structural damage because the buildings here in California are retrofitted. We are up to code. Again, we have not received any reports of damage to our newsroom, a 5.7 Tembler hitting near the U.S.-Mexico border tonight at 926. Reporting live at Caltech in Pasadena, Leslie Miller, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Leslie.